Hello there, gorgeous. My name is Dusty, and this is the Scorpio Priestess. Scorpio, if you like my vibe, I would appreciate those likes and subscribes. Anybody who already has, thank you. If you have donated to my channel in any way, monetarily, energetically, thank you. You could be watching anybody, and you're watching me, and I will always be forever grateful. If you would like a personal reading, you can do that by visiting ScorpioPriestess.com. It is in the description of this video as well as the link in the bio. I am running a half hour FaceTime sale until October 14th. Today is Friday the 13th. If you would like to schedule a half hour FaceTime using code OCT222, you can receive it for $35. If you would like to enter to win $175, you can do that by liking, subscribing, and entering blessing. But Scorp, as always, if you're doing well for yourself, let's pass this on to our friends and family that could use that extra come up. That drawing will be on October 31st. Everybody is welcome to enter to win a free half hour FaceTime reading by liking, subscribing, and entering reading. I hope everybody is doing well, Bob and I, and living your best Friday life. If you work Monday through Friday, you made it. We are at the end of the week. I hope you had a beautiful and blessed week and an even better Friday. With that being said, we are into the daily tarot here, but first I'd like to talk a little bit about the eclipse we are having tomorrow. The, this eclipse on the 14th is pretty powerful for us emotionally because it is in our 12th house of subconscious, of feelings, of emotion bringing back past things, um, allowing us to, to take a look and release. Now, the, the eclipse energy is typically a year, okay? So um, any new, any changes, any, any um, things that are being purged out of your life, um, it, it's going to be over the course of the next year, let's just say. But right now, you could be feeling really emotional. Because it is in our 12th house here, there's a lot of subconscious things going on. You may be having urges to get healthier, to live better, to change your, your routine, to start working out. Those who are dealing with medical issues, this is a really good time to look for different kinds of treatments and different kinds of, of doctors or, or healthcare providers or healers um, because it is in the sign of Libra. It also is going to um, really affect your partnerships. And that doesn't mean relationship, partnerships in general, friends, co-workers, etc. With it being in our 12th house, though, a lot of healing from past emotions, a lot of healing spiritually. For some of you, you may be going through a dark night of the soul. You may get um, propelled in to a dark night of the soul. If you're really starting to feel like nothing in your life resonates with you, Scorp, nothing in your life feels right anymore. Um, everybody around you, your relationships, they're just not vibing with you anymore. You're really waking up and you're getting out of the matrix. Um, it's because you are being affected by the eclipse energy. It's a good time to write out all of the things that you no longer want, all of those thoughts and emotions that are no longer serving you. Um, and so with that being said, I wish you all the very best. It, over the course of the next few days, you may be feeling extra emotional or there could be some big changes happening in your life right now with partnerships, etc. And it, it's not easy, but it is for your growth and your highest good. Remember, if any challenge arises, if anything happens where you're no longer, you're, you're arguing and fighting with somebody that you once um, vibed with, this is for you, sweetheart, because you're going, they may not be able to come where you're going. And that goes for friends, family, and otherwise. 
<clears throat> what passion am I ready to pursue? What am I ready to pursue right now? What dream do I have in my heart? Say it out loud. What's the first thing that comes to your mind? Your passion will continually lead you to your purpose. What passions have you put aside, given up, or buried? What passion is ready to come alive in you? Today's soul action, write a list of your passions of which you want to give life to right now. Then journal how you can incorporate it into what you are passionate about. Trust your soul's whispering and let your passions draw you towards your dream life. For some of you, you have a dream. You have a passion to do something. But because of social constructs or um, lack of money, lack of time, you haven't been pursuing your passion. I'm right with you. I'm taking Scorpio Priestess to the next phase of coaching, but it comes with a lot of work. The, I have to get all the content around. I have to do um, this. I have to do that. And trying to come up with the time has been difficult. With, with this eclipse, something will need to be given up. Um, for you to be in your best emotional state, you will find that um, there's some things, if something's changing or a new opportunity is coming in, it's going to come with you having to sacrifice something. I am right with you. I have to sacrifice some of my um, FaceTime time. I gotta cut my schedule back a bit. For me to pursue my passions, I have to give that up. Um, um, you know, I have to give something up to get where I wanna go. I may have to lose a lot, uh, a little money to get where I, I wanna go. And for some of you, your facing the same kind of issues what um am i ready to give a up to have b and c um am i ready to give this up for now and sacrifice my time my energy my effort to um you know get to where i want to go for some of you that is exactly what is going on there's a lot of opportunities here coming in for you sextile here conjunction empowerment um, for some of you, you are trying to align with your purpose. There's synchronicities everywhere. Um, there's insight. You are getting downloads. Um, the 12th house also is our Akashic Records. There's things here in your 12th house going on because of the eclipse, Scorpio. Um, things playing out here that's already written in the Akashic Records. So if you're feeling extra psychic um, over the course of the next three months, six months, it is because something is being, um, you know, a awakened inside you here oh boy spirits got some some tea for us i guess the angels have messages step into the spotlight step into the spotlight you have a message that the world needs to hear it's time for you to share your wisdom you may be wanting to share your experiences in some way you may be feeling called to do something um regarding that trust in your divine purpose this experience has a divine healing. Know that you are on the path to growth. You see number 34, number 30, and number 39. That could be your age. For some of you here, you are about to start walking in your purpose. You are about to figure out what it is you are meant to do here on planet Earth. And the eclipse has a lot to do with that. The eclipse energy is allowing you to really um, see what partnerships are not vibing with you anymore and, and what passions you should be pursuing. Pursuing. Your subconscious mind is screaming at you, but you need to be honest with yourself, Scorpio. Number five, all your feelings, even the difficult ones, have a message for you. Accept your truth and let source take it from there. For some of you, you're going to be feeling extra emotional for the reason of you know you got to be honest with yourself now. For some of you, you have been living in a bit of a um, hopeful energy, a wishful energy that somebody would change or something could change. You haven't been seeing the truth. You haven't been wanting to see the truth, perhaps, about why your life is where it is. Scorpio, this girl 
has had to take a long, hard fucking look in the mirror. Trust me, more times than one. I've had to acknowledge and, and, and take responsibility for my life being a mess at times as well. Right now, you are being guided to stand in your truth. What is your truth? So what? Maybe you did make some mistakes. So what? Maybe you have been trying to be in love with the what ifs, the, the what could be. So what? You're human and you're loving and and maybe you have been but right now around the eclipse season um we do have another eclipse coming at the end of the month in scorpio season and so this would be a great time for you to really start purging out um those things that don't serve you, but also becoming incredibly honest with yourself. What are the changes that I need to make to my health, for my mental health, for my growth? You are safe within my bubble of light. You can proceed with confidence. You are protected. The divine is letting you know you are being protected. You are being held. And whatever it is that you want to pursue is being protected because it is your purpose. It is your divine purpose. Scorpio, or it is what's best for you. Tell me, Spirit, what is the daily message? I did get us a little, a new deck of little animal cards. I am loving them. I think you all will love them too. Tell me about the animal oracle here, uh, the daily message, please, Scorpio. I mean, <laughs> please, Spirit. The swan, elegance, love, union, innocence, devotion. Stay graceful under pressure. Don't let others ruffle your feathers. Mm -mm -mm, Scorpio, stay graceful here. Why you're going through this purging period, why you're going through this period of change, you may be going through a dark night of the soul, which is so hard. It's so hard. But at the end of it, it's so beautiful. You're coming back to the light. Maybe you have lost yourself for a while, Scorp, and you're, and you're starting to come back to the light. But there's people around you who are trying to ruffle your feathers. Don't give them that much energy. Giving, Being angry, mad, yelling, screaming, doing all those things is giving somebody way too much power over you. If somebody tries to ruffle your feathers today, um, just, okay. You know, just let it or, or speak your peace calmly or it's, you know, I'm not going to do this right now until um, you have calmed down. Whatever you need to do, don't allow them to ruffle your feathers. Don't give them any energy. Playfulness, fun, communication here, emotions. Let go, flow, and bring back play to your grown-up life. You need to play more. We get this message at least once a week. I'm right with you. We need to start having more fun. We need to start letting our life, um, you know, enjoying more things in life and working a little less. It's not that you you shouldn't be working hard, but really trying to find work-life balance is what the divine is asking of you um, today. Go out and have some fun. Go run down the street swinging your arms, laughing, hooting and hollering. Act silly. Let your neighbors think, what is going on with this person? It's hilarious. I've done it before. It is hilarious to see the people in the neighborhood. I get on my little scooter. I have a little trike, you know, like they're street legal and um i blow up and down the block and my i have a neighbor who's 85 and he is my friend and um he stands at the porch just a waving he thinks it's hilarious to see me on this little scooter i think i have a harley it's so fun for me it, it just getting it out and riding it around the neighborhood makes me feel like alive free it, it just it makes me feel happy and so maybe there's something you can do like that that's so small that doesn't cost any money that's just fun it just makes you feel like a kid again scorpio if there is you're being guided to um do more of that tell me spirit what what is this um what is this not ruffle feathers please hangman here two of cups yeah most of you this is a relationship that you're trying to move on from here in the chariot but you're being pulled should i go with the black lion the white one which way should i go should i go this way should i go that way you're 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 literally getting pulled your your horror what i'm seeing in my third eye is like um you're about to break you're about to be ripped apart because you are so confused on which way to go you're being guided to, to give it a rest today. 
of, of trying to make a decision. If there's something that you're going back and forth with in your mind and you can't quite decide and you've been going back and forth in your mind forever, just give it a rest today. That it's still going to be there tomorrow. It's still going to be there on Sunday. Give yourself a rest. Every time you think about it, say, no, not today. Not today. I am present. I am in the flow. And, and come to a place where you are focusing just on your day-to-day -day life. Try to let go today. Give yourself a two, three-day hiatus of, of making a decision on whatever this is you're feeling pulled in. A lot of you, this is, is, is work and love. For some of you, you've been going through a dark night and um, because of a relationship, and it's making you question if you even want to do what you're doing now, your career. Don't just let it go for the next couple of days. Give your mind a rest. Just let let go and 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 you know live in the flow. Surrender to defensiveness. Defensiveness is a sign of weakness. To communicate in a more empowered way, stay centered and hear someone out, then offer a clear, non-defensive response. The divine is saying no need to be defensive here, Scorpio. No need. Um, you have your opinion and somebody else has theirs, and that's that. Sometimes we're not always going to agree. Sometimes not everybody is going to um, vibe with you. And so what? So what? Maybe they are not. Maybe they don't. There's no need to defend yourself or try to prove yourself to anybody. Moving on here to money. For some of you, you seem to have made a bit of a bad investment. You may have been um, really going through it as of lately and your money, but there's a small increase coming in. You're being guided once again to make an honest assessment here. For some of you, you want to start fresh. You, you are career building. You're starting over. You're thinking about it or you just have. Went back to school, started a new job. You're thinking about starting completely over here in your money and finance. Winning money, payoff for effort, recognition, advancement, professional work, and fame. Y'all, some of you are destined to be famous. Some of you, there's something very big you have to do. And there's something very big that, that includes your soul's mission here that is going to uh, really pay off. But Scorpio, if you're working hard, if you're getting up every day, if you're if you're doing your very best, the divine is going to come in here and, and reward you. For some of you, you could get some reward. You could be, you know, employee of the month. You could get a bonus at work. You could um, win some kind of money. Your ticket could, um, you could get a you know, thousand dollar lottery ticket, some small investment, I mean, small uh, increase here. <clears throat> Following, belonging, community, trying to fit in, sacrifice. Don't fear walking alone for now. Your soul tribe will appear soon. Calculated, fearless, hunt, challenge, confidence. Take on the challenge to face the fears that are holding you back here. For some of you, you're being held back by fear in your finances and career. You're 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 doing things to because you've always done them, and the people around you, um, you know, everybody in your town works here, and you work there too because that's just what that's just what you've done. There's something you're being guided to face, though. And again, we have sacrifice. Like I said, whatever is going on here with the eclipse energy, there will be something that needs to be given up for you to live your healthiest life. That could be a lover. That could be a career. If you're unhealthy in your mind and you're so burnt out and beat down and, and your environment is so toxic, you may need to give that career up to be able to um, walk in your life's purpose. Now, I'm not saying go into work and quit your job. I'm saying you may need to start looking at different opportunities um, because somebody wants to be very generous. Yeah, a lot of you are going to move on from the job you're in right now. Um, there's a lot of arguing and fighting or you're arguing and fighting with yourself. You may make good money, but you hate it and you want to do something different. Start out small. Try to start on the side. Try to do it slowly. Go to part-time and work two part-time jobs opposed to, um, you know, uh, quitting altogether if you're scared. There's ways that you can get around, um, come, you know, you can slowly step in to your life's purpose if that's what you feel you're guided to do. 
Um, some of you are planning travel, but yeah, there's a lot of fear here in the moon. Um, you're fearing something in your career and finance. For some of you, you're afraid you're going to lose your job. For others, you're afraid you're not going to find a job. For others, you're afraid to... Um, leave because you've been there for so long and um you know you have children to feed or yourself to feed but whatever this is scorpio you will be able to start making money in your life's purpose if you just take the action steps towards it the divine is going to come in and give you recognition f from um all the work you've been doing for all the work you've been doing here you could be dealing with a cancer, a lot of cancer energy, Pisces energy here um, in your work and career. Moving on to love. Oh boy, spirit, give us a good one today. We, I believe in us, I believe in us. Spirit, what is the overall energy in love for my babies? Confusion, tricky situation, revealing illusions, weary, curiosity, careful not to trick yourself into believing things that are not true. I already knew that here. When I say something in a reading, it's, it's because I'm guided to say it. When I tell you something about myself, it's because I'm being guided to tell you. I'm telling you, you're lying to yourself about something. Honey, I'm sorry, but you are. It may be time for you to see a person for who they are. You may be romanticizing them, romanticizing your relationship. Um, it, it, this relationship most likely wasn't even that good. But because it's now ended, you're romanticizing or because they're with somebody else, you're, you're wanting to win and you want to win this person back. It's, it's, it's human nature. I've been there. Rebirth, transition, fear, death, the nighttime, illusion. Once again, let go of old thoughts, habits, or beliefs that are hindering your growth. Mm -mm -mm. The eclipse energy here for a lot of you, you know what it's going to do? It's going to bring in a reality check. For some of you, you're going to come to a place where you say, oh my God, Dusty's right. I've been lying to myself, haven't I? That relationship wasn't that great. That doesn't mean you're not going to miss them, grieve them at all. It just means that you're honest with yourself. This was not some fairy tale, right? Um, and, and remind yourself of that. What am I really holding on to? Cheating, lying, fighting? Um, for some of you, that's all that's left is for you to come to an honest place with yourself and you're going to be able to move forward. And I do not want to trigger anybody. I certainly am not trying to hurt you or say this because um, I, I'm trying to be mean. I'm being guided to tell you that you have to start seeing something clearly. You have to start being honest with yourself. There is a strong bond. There is a soulmate in your energy right now. This person came in and acted like prince or princess charming, but let it go and let it flow. Can't control the situation. Things are shifting. A male will play a key role. Somebody is in a very masculine energy right now surrounding you in love. This could be a new soulmate for some. Um, for those who are ready to let go and let it flow, you definitely have a new soulmate coming in as Scorpios. We tend to have very deep relationships. Um, we tend to meet a lot of soul connections because we are such deep people, because um, we are such strong manifestors. We feel so deeply, and so we will connect with people that we have soul connections with often. You may be getting out of one and moving into another. You could have been dealing with a twin flame dynamic, and now you're meeting a soulmate. Or you could have been dealing with a karmic soulmate that was um, for a lot of lessons, etc., and now you're about to meet somebody that will be a great life partner who has learned their lessons as well. Tell me, Spirit, tell me about um, this masculine energy surrounding Scorpio in love today. Yeah, happy relationship, blooming love life, unconventional love, exploring of the taboo, not easily accepted. For some of you here, there's somebody around you that has lusty feelings for you. You may be in a same-sex relationship, and one of you embodies the feminine energy, one embodies the masculine. Um, 
for some, for others, you know that this person that you were dealing with explores their sexuality. They explore some taboos. They may have um, some sexual kink or something here. For some of you, you're ready to start exploring sexually yourself. You were married for a long time and you're like, I'm going to get myself back out here and have a little fun. As long as you do it safely, Scorpio. <clears throat> but back to a toxic situation, being influenced by the past, need to focus on the future. There's a need for you to focus on the future right now. Somebody here could like antique cars, have a red rose tattoo or something about red roses. Um, tell me about what Scorpio has been lying to themselves about spirit. What is this illusion? Somebody has been painting illusions, wanting you to, to close your eyes to some things, wanting you not to see clearly, um, violating the rules, warning to make changes, acting recklessly, feeling deep in your emotions, look below the surface, embrace your feelings. Someone may surprise you, an invitation to celebrate. For some of you, you feel like you're never going to meet anybody new. Um, you've been lying to yourself and saying, I'll never meet anybody that makes me feel um, the way this past person did. I'll never meet anybody that, that loves me like they did. And though there, that's, that's an illusion, sweetheart. That's an illusion. For others here, you are looking below the surface. You are embracing your feelings and realizing that there's somebody in your life that's reckless and that it may be reckless for you to go back for some. But you're coming to a place where you're seeing this. I feel, Scorpio, you're, you're coming out of illusion. Most of you are coming out of the illusion that this is, you know, um, the only person in the world that you ever could have or love. You're coming out of that, that mindset. You're understanding that we all have many. We have, it's said that we have nine different soul soulmates on planet Earth. And with that being said, there's a lot of opportunity for you to connect with a deep soul connection. No. Will anybody ever replace them? No. But can you have a different kind of love? A consistent love? A, a healthy love? Absolutely you can. What is this soulmate connection, please? For some, this is a new person. You're just undecided. Your wishes keep changing. There's somebody that's afraid of getting exposed. There's somebody that you may know some things about them. Say they are a professional, but they have a porn problem, and they're afraid you're going to uh, blow their cover, or they could be on the down low about something, and they're afraid you're going to tell people. There's something like that that could be going on. Tell me, Spirit, <clears throat> tell me about this person. How are they feeling? How is this person feeling right now in Scorpio's mind? Ooh, one down. Feeling insignificant, negative emotions, shadow self behavior. Oh, boy. Waiting for something. Feel like time's running out, worried about the future. This person feels like you're waiting, but they are afraid, um, like they've took too long. They're starting to feel panic. They got to make some decision. They have to do something or time's running out. You're going to move on. This person needs to get their act together. For a lot of you, you told this person, I love you. I want this back, but not before you do A, B, and C. Um, this is what needs to happen before we reconnect. And this person is starting to feel panicked because they're still living in their shadow self. What do they have to say, Spirit? My God, I cannot keep these cards on the table today, you guys. I, they're just popping all over. This energy is popping. There are feelings of anger inside me that I need to release before I explode. I feel overwhelmed. I am drowning in my thoughts. This person carries a lot of anger, um, a lot of resentment, not for you per se, but just out of, in life. They could have had a very hard life. Um, they carry a lot of anger inside. This is somebody that the anger is manifesting out now into bad behavior. They're living in their shadow side because they have never dealt with these wounds and the, these, um, this pain. Tell me about this person, Spirit. I, if I lose one more card on the floor, y'all, I'm going to really, I swear. Yep, there they go. All right, guys, I'm so sorry. I'm just like, they're flying everywhere today. 
the unexpected shocking revelations here but they're careless they have this whatever attitude they're just walking around here um you know doing whatever they're not playing their cards right they're trying to make the best out of a bad situation you all definitely could be in, um going through a divorce but justice is coming something that's mutually beneficial they seem to want um something that's mutually beneficial if you're going through a divorce especially if you have children especially they don't want to hurt you they want something that's mutually beneficial what does this person really want what are their true intentions please do it choosing to stay single happily single free spirit it seems to me like this is somebody who wants to be single for now. That doesn't mean they don't love you. That doesn't mean that, that at some point you all couldn't reconnect. But right now it seems like they just want to be out here being single. Um, they really feel like you were a wish granted though, Scorpio. They feel at home with you. They feel safe with you. They feel like you are a healer. Like your energy was incredibly healing to them. And that's one of the reasons why they have such a hard time breaking away from you. Even though it seems that they want to be single for now. It doesn't mean that they don't love you. It means that it looks like they just want to be able to do whatever it is they want to do i feel there could be other karmics involved but this is somebody who will never give somebody the actual yes we're in a relationship they keep people in gray areas tell me about this person please spirit they're foolish and they've hurt you three of swords here in the full this is somebody that actions their actions have been incredibly foolish and you're hurt by them. They they know that. Tell me what their true intentions are, please, spirit. They're trying to manifest new money here. For some of you, this person wants to be generous with you. Um, because that's the only way they can. They've fucked all the way up. And they feel like if they give you money or they, they you know, help pay for a lot. Or they continue to pay your bills even though you're not together. that and That's their way of trying to make this up to you. For some, for others, this person wants you to be generous with them because they may um, be in between jobs or something. Their future planning, though, a lot of loss, despair. They feel a lot of despair. They've broke their own heart here. Tell me, why, why, why happily single here? Why do they want to be happily single? It's about control. <clears throat> something from their past as well this person juggles around on if they want to be in a commitment or if they want to be single um they could be uh juggling money right now this person likes to look like appear like they're in big d energy they want control at all times a part of them wants to come back but uh, another part of them wants to be single it has something to do with childhood memories and perhaps overindulging this is somebody who could overindulge way too much, overindulge to the point of making very bad decisions, getting arrested, uh, you know, sleeping with, with others, something like this. But they, they feel, why do they feel insignificant? They have a lot of negative emotions. They carry around a lot of anger. Um, this is somebody here who could have been hurt in the past. Yeah, could have been put in competition and and now they just they don't allow themselves to get close enough for others there's a lot of negative emotions um from the both of you because this person was constantly putting you in competition with other lovers constantly it was always third parties and a lot transpired between the two of you here you're standing in your power in the king of cups a lot happened a lot of fighting a lot of arguing and because of of other people this person may have cheated on you numerous times and they're, they feel you feel angry and negative um, about them. This could be a Gemini, a Sagittarius, a Aquarius, a fire sign, a water sign. 
I really wish you the very best here, Scorpio. I do. This person has a lot of anger. They have a lot of unresolved emotions that they need to figure out with inside their self. Patience would be needed here. Please see this clearly. It's not that there's not love. It's not that this person doesn't love you or, or feel that you're special. You do matter to them. It's just that circumstances here in the 3D may not be allowing y'all to be together right now. Come to a place of acceptance. I know you are not like the others. I know this is not the same. I've been reflecting on this. I'm not sure if I deserve the way you love me. You see, this is someone who carries around so much pain from childhood, so much trauma that they just, they don't know if they deserve being loved the way you do. So they have chose to be out here throwing it to anyone that will take it. They feel very um, healed. They feel a lot of healing energy in your presence. They feel really safe with you. And this is somebody who needs to feel safe because of whatever's happened in, in their childhood. I hope you all have a beautiful and blessed Friday. Today is Friday. Going to be the best Friday ever. Today is the best Friday you have ever had. Love and light.